Welcome guys, what you just saw is one of the two main features of the Season 11 patch, but the other one is being able to play Paramo again. Because in Season 11, Karakin is being replaced by Paramo in the main queue, meaning that you will now be able to play this awesome volcano map in solo, duo and squad. This is really cool and I look forward to trying out solo FVP on it. The map will be limited to around 50 players, as the map will always have 13 bots, just like the other maps also have a forced 20% bots. It does have some minor updates regarding the terrain and spawn rates, which seems cool. The patch also has some weapon balancing. The mini gets buffed and now does one damage more, which to me is a bit crazy since it was already insanely good. And at the same time, the SLR gets nerfed by having its recoil increased, which did feel quite noticeable when I shot it on the test server. Basically, what this will do is make the mini used a bit more often and the SLR a bit less. This is definitely more difficult. I think this might be a player. This is definitely more difficult, but still, I'm drive-buying someone with an SLR 300 meters away. The barrel is now getting nerfed again by getting more recoil, but I feel like this isn't going to change much. The handling looks very similar when you test it, and this test is done with a compensator and vertical grip. Also, you can still easily barrel drive by people with a 6x scope. So, I mean, we'll have to see how big of an impact this will have. You can still, you can still easily spray, get out my car, spray down people with a, a scope, scope barrel and drive bys. The Scar L is getting a small damage buff from 41 to 42, and the VSS gets a plus two damage buff from 41 to 43. Overall, PUBG is on the right track here, but we will have to see how much of an effect this will have when you jump into a real game. And now to the new emergency pickup system, also called a Fulton Balloon or a Skyhook. It comes as a bag that you'll find on all maps except for ammo, and when used, it will fire a balloon high up into the sky. When ready, up to four players needs to attach themselves to the wire, and within 60 seconds, an airplane will come get you. In case you're wondering what it looked like when I tried this for the first time, well, this is it. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I detached. Because you gotta stay close. This looks painful. Let's go. <laughs> so now we're going to the military island. Okay, so military circles like this is pretty nice. Not a problem at all. This is a super cool feature, and you can detach yourself from the balloon at any time and skydive down exactly like you do in the beginning of the game. I can definitely imagine some really cool place with this, and you can end up in places where you would normally not be. So get ready to see people in positions where they normally aren't gonna be. PUBG also adds a few mastery medals, which on its own isn't that interesting. But now, finally, you can show these medals with your PUBG ID. Great to see that we get a way to show these off, so they aren't just completely useless to have. PUBG also gets a new friends list, and the kill feed is now limited to icons only, no text option. Also notice how knocks and kill icons are now separated for better visibility. During the match, you can open a kill feed lock where you will be able to track the kills that happened in that game. Okay, you want this. You can see who killed who. Apart from this, the patch do feature a bunch of smaller, rather insignificant changes. Some performance improvements, new skins, and a decently sized bug fix list. Oh, and there's also this new feature where your camera gets locked to look backwards when healing from a buggy. There's no season pass in season 11, at least not yet, and it overall feels extremely underwhelming. 
two things I was really hoping for was a nerf to drive-bys and a loot buff to Miramar, but that isn't happening either. I was expecting much better since this is the fourth year anniversary of PUBG and this is the first season of 2021, but at least it can only get better from here. I hope you liked the video and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Wiggle boy. <laughs> it's like, still getting shot in the face. That's funny.